Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yesha ala. Kuholoyim la yahawa bashim yawashai bahashim rachaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan, the Waft is coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I uh, wanted to touch on um, this business article. It says central banks' currencies are coming whether we want them to or not. Should you be worried about CBDCs? And <laughs> I mean, we're not worried about it because the scripture told us to. Um, tells us that you know um certain things that are to come be not troubled or or, or, or for us to not worry <clears throat> because these things must come to pass and these are things that we're praying for because we're, we're praying for these things to come to pass because the quicker they come to pass the quicker our lord comes and the quicker we're out of the so-called white man's hands his kingdom and we're living in righteousness man you know we're, we're we're hastening the kingdom to come we're not worried about what esau edom is doing down here you know let him go ahead and get down let him go ahead and get busy and as you can see he is a lot of wickedness is going on throughout the earth right now man but this is one of the um all roads lead to revelation 13 16 we always say that mark of the beauty and the beast that they want to put into you because this is what it's leading up to <clears throat> Slakia. So we're going to just get into a little bit of this. It says in countries around the world, central bank digital currencies, otherwise, you know, also known as CBDCs, you're going to hear a lot of that, you know, a lot more of that in these, these coming days, man. It says are poised to change the way average citizens use money in the coming decade. And, you know, these these Edomites, they're proud as hell because they'll tell you decades as if this place is going to last that long. And we're praying that it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, these these people are extra proud. They're, they'll, you'll never hear them say if it's the Lord's will in these next couple of years, we're going to do this. We're going to launch this. We're going to, you know, be over here or there. You know, they'll never you'll never hear them saying if it's the Lord's will. They just say hey, we're going to do this. And that's that. OK, so it says. In the coming decade, billions of people are likely to use CBDCs a new type of currency run on a centralized ledger to do everything from pay taxes to buy groceries to receive welfare checks. See, that's going to be one of your major things. I've done a lesson the other day going off into conditions and um, ultimatums because that's what the so-called white man he's going to do. He's going to um, bring forward to you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, especially you ones that's on welfare and mainly you, you mothers that are out here. You know, the so-called white man has been able to use you to tear up the household you know, you're getting, you know, food stamps from them. You're getting free housing basically through Section 8, so to speak. You're getting your Medicaid, Medicare, and then the so-called white man is letting you get a cut of the man that you're no longer with. You get a cut of his check every damn week, two weeks, every month, or whenever he gets paid for child support, you know. So you've been duped because what's going to happen is it's going to fall real hard on you women. Especially you ones that depend upon the government for your everyday um, needs. And the scripture talks about, um, that's Isaiah 31 and 1. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Isaiah 31, verse 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horses and, and in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Yahweh. See, destruction to you that that looks to the so-called white man. Basically, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be complete destruction. This man, he 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 rolls around as you know, slithering, snake-like, acting as if he's never done nothing wrong. He loves you, and, and then strike. He hits your ass with the venom, man. And you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women, you're about to see, you're going to get a real dose of what you've been trusting in for so, so long from your great, 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 great grandparents going back, trusting this man all the way back to Eve, man. But anyway, you trust in this man and you never look, you never ask, on the, ask for help from the Lord. You're going to. And that goes for you so-called um, men. I mean, for you men as well. It goes for you as well. But it's going to be real hard hit on you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American women because you've taken part in, in partner, partnering, being a partner with this man. 
Okay. <clears throat> it says, um, because like I said, um, it's going to go into ultimatums. They're going to say, hey, look, you want to continue on getting these these welfare checks, these food stamps. You want to continue on getting, um, you know, having that Section 8. Then you're going to have to come on down, bring the children. And we're going to need to implement this market of beauty and the beast in your ass. And we're going to need to, you know, um, check on you. And, and you know, they're, they're, hey, they're going to give you an ultimatum. You're going to either roll with him. You're going to get down and you're going to lay down, basically. <coughs> so like you. Once seen as the technology of the future, CBDCs, along with other digital payment innovations, garnered new attention during the pandemic as governments explored how they might better exchange money with banks and consumers. So see why they had you in the house with a diaper on your damn face and, 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 and telling you to come and roll your sleeve up because they wanted to see how many of you were going to comply because that's going to they got the data on if you're going to comply with this. So while they was doing all that, had you up in the house during the pandemic, they was doing all this on your ass in the backdrop. See, that's why the scripture says never trust thine enemy. You have to really be um, on, the, on the lookout and watch out for this man. You have to you got to be hey, you got to be on the watch out for this man. It's just that simple, man. This man is a damn hunter. He's a killer, man. The so-called white man is out for blood. <laughs> Even his own people. This man don't care about his own people. You see. It says. Um, Once seen as a technology of the future, CBDC, CBDCs, along with other digital payment innovations, garnered new attention during the pandemic as governments explored how they might better exchange money with banks and consumers. But unlike Bitcoin and other private cryptocurrencies that, prom that promote ideals of decentralization, CBDCs are intended to leave the state very much in control. And that's exactly what's going to happen. That's, the, that's exactly what they want. They want total control. What do you think they was talking about at the World Economic Forum, man? They, they, these things that they've been trying to do, they, 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 they've been pushing for decades, decades, decades and decades. Now, the so-called white man is finally at a point of having his digital reset. But, you know, of course, um, no weapon is formed, you know, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. You know, roughly paraphrasing that. We're not worried about it. These things must happen. We have to pray. And we're glad to see these things come to pass. You see? But you, you, you ones that won't listen, you ones that really trust in this man, ooh wee, boy, you're going to find out how duped you've been, man. You're going to be pissed with this motherfucker when you figure out that he has tricked you. Right? It says, already the U.S. is moving forward with tests of CBDCs. See, America is behind. They're behind. They're trying to, they're playing catch up right now. It says the UK is hiring the head of central bank digital currency and testing out a digital pound. And China has launched its version of CBDCs in the real world. So see, China is ahead of America and all these other European governments. China already doing it. China is already on, on, on point. And it's just going to, you know, they're going to take it a step further because, hey, they, they want this shit in you. Trust me. It says we are closer than ever to a world of centralized digital currencies reshaping the financial sector. This raises the question of whether we are entering a new era of financial efficiency or as critics fear, one of dystopian surveillance and, and, and A is the latter. That, that surveillance is what they want on your ass, man. I'm telling you. Hey, I watched a movie last night. It's called Implanted. Matter of fact, you know what? I was intending to go on YouTube and see what's this on here. Because it was a movie that was on, um, what was that? Uh, I think it's called Fandango is the app or whatever on, on the Roku or whatever. Uh, let's see here, though. The movie is called Implanted. It's a dope movie, though. It's kind of a little bit on the, on the B-side movie. Matter of fact, this is the trailer right here, probably. Let me see if this is it. Yep, this is it right here. And, and so what was going on in this particular movie... They had, you know, put the, in, the implants into the people. They had people come by and, you know, they were sitting there at a the desk. And, you know, it's like a doctor's office or whatever. You know, they, they gave them, um, you know, a little bit of material to read over. And, you know, you, you, you agree to, to the conditions or whatever. And they put the shit in them. I think they paid them $20,000, $20,000 right off. And they got the chips. And, and basically these chips was talking to the people as they was moving about their day. So what you're seeing with this particular lady right here, that you know, the chip 
and, and, and it was everybody. But she was like the main star of the, of the movie. But basically, and I don't want to give up, you know, um, no, you know, blow the movie for anybody that may want to watch it. But I mean, overall, you know, that chip started to talk. You know, it was like a Alexa um, um, voice. They, they actually gave you a choose your voice, just like how you can choose your voice as far as like how you can make um, Google or Siri sound or whatever. So, you know. She chose the voice and, and the voice was speaking to her, telling her what to do, you know, um, trying to get her and get her fit. Some I don't know what was going on with her, but, you know, telling her, you know, to eat and you, you slept this certain amount of time um, today. You need oxygen. You need this. You need that. And then it got to a point where, you know, she wanted to do things on her own and she wasn't able to. The damn chip was shutting her ass down. She was falling out in the street, screaming and shit because the chip would turn on some pain for her ass excruciating pain where she couldn't do nothing you see what i'm saying so she eventually got to a point of you know listening and you know complying with this particular and then this motherfucking chip um had her ass going out murdering people she had hit off <laughs> she, she had a hit list of people that, <laughs> and she wanted to stop to go along with a few other people but it was nothing they can do because that chip was turning on that pain and they you know but eventually you know, you, you can watch it. She ended up, you know, killing herself in the end because she just couldn't take no more, you know? But, I mean, but that chip, hey, they, they had money. They was doing whatever they needed to do. But it was like they had to live by that, the you know, that, you know what the chip was saying, basically. And it was just a voice. It was like, it was like, you know, you're basically Siri talking to you all day long, telling you, turn here, go there. You know, just like your, you know, your, your GPS turn right on such and such, such and such street. You are now at your location. That type of shit. So this thing is, is boiling down to it, man. So it's coming to this, man. Then it goes off into what is a CBDC and who is creating them. Um, a, CBDC, a CBDC is a new form of digital currency created, issued, and controlled by the central bank, such as the Federal Reserve. Now... I'm just going to leave it there because you can go into this if you want to look this up. Now, I just seen this on TV. I just seen this on the news and I and I pulled it up. The Federal Reserve is not a, a government U.S. Um, building, man. This the, the, the U.S. is getting loans from this place and it's thirty two trillion dollars in debt damn near. Right now, this is two hundred and thirteen billion dollars. Right. I just literally seen this on the news, CNN. Well, I seen it on another news channel. It says the U.S. is paying a record amount of interest on its debt and it's only going to get worse. So what do you think is going to happen, man? This man is in control of everything that's going on around you. He's going to eventually say, oh, I'm, I'm ready to collect full on my loan. I'm, re I'm ready to collect all the trillions and trillions of dollars that I've allowed you to, um, you know, that I've given you. I'm not. I, I want to collect now. So what they're going to do is <laughs> instead of they already have the people enslaved, they want to perpetually enslave you. And that's for hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. You better wake up because these wicked ass so-called white people, man, these people right here have they do not have your best interest in mind. They never have and they never will. Stop with that American shit. Stop thinking that you're a part of these countries that they they enslaved you in. You're your Hebrew Israelites from from your respective tribe. Now, this is. um, They paid two hundred and thirteen billion dollars in interest in one year, in 12 months. They pay basically going into next year, 20, I mean, or this year, 2023, they are supposed to pay three billion dollars a day in interest. Now, a country this big and a country this powerful and, and a country supposedly that's supposed to be the best place on Earth. How is it that you're in debt to a to a family of people? Because the, the Federal Reserve is, you know, that, that that's a that's a family, man. That, that's not, you know, um, <laughs> Uh, 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 an actual federal building that you can walk into like it's got anything to do with the U.S. And that's what, um, see, the Esau Edom, he's, slip, he's slippery, man. This man is slippery as hell. Let me see, man. I we really don't need to play this, but let's see if it'll play. It may just be one of those ones. Where what happens when uncertainty is less uncertain? Essential intelligence. Okay, so lock you for the, um, you know they're going to give you an ad. See, they out here fucking with the bees. They out here fucking with everything. Right, but let's see though. A little worried about the debt limit not getting extended. 
the level of debt is really it's not first of all it's not the fed's job but i would say that we we we're on an unsustainable fiscal path at the federal government level that has been the case for some time and it's something we will have to deal with and we'd better to deal with it sooner rather than later this really can only end one way and that is with congress raising the debt ceiling in a timely fashion so that the u.s can pay all of its bills when and as due that's what has to happen and if that doesn't happen no one should think that the fed has now think about that when they pay their bill why would they have a bill uh, isn't this supposedly be federal uh, isn't this the uh, 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 it, you know See, this lets you know that America don't print no money. America don't own no money. They ended up getting rid of all the silver and gold, which is real money. And you dumb, doofy ass Americans, y'all fell for it. And you're still falling for it. Here you go. They giving you Super Bowls and fucking, you know, Grammys and all kinds of wicked, stupid ass shit. And you're, and, and you're storming the Capitol over, over some guy talking about the election was stolen. Well, you should be storming that bitch for this type of shit. So lucky for the language, man. But this just lets you know how stupid these people are, man. But, hey, what can you say, man? This, this is how crafty the so-called white man is. The so-called white man, he's so damn crafty. He's, he, this, this, this man, the elite of them, only a few of them, own the banks that's loaning you as a country, a whole damn continent, money, man. As if you're, you know, some nigga that need a loan for a house or something, or a car or something. You know? It don't make no sense has the ability to shield the financial markets or the economy from the consequences of, of moving too slow. So you don't have any program in place ready to go if in fact the debt limit isn't passed in time. This is something that Congress has to deal with. And the, same, the, the so-called trillion dollar gold coin solution is not one you're in favor of, I guess. I, as I said, this ends in only one way. Okay. And that way is Congress voting to raise the debt ceiling so that the US can pay all of our bills. And there you have it. So, $213 billion, this says the Treasury Department paid a record $213 billion in interest payments on the national debt in the last quarter of 2022, up $63 billion from the same period a year before. So, hey, here you go, your boy Joe Biden, that boy spending money, man. Between him and Obama, they the ones that's got this damn debt as high as it is. <laughs> Straight up, man. It says the fourth quarter tab was also nearly 30 billion more than the prior quarter, which is the largest quarterly increase on record. That's crazy, man. And we don't need to go into it no more. Let me just go into the scripts here. Uh, hey, but yeah, woe to you that go down to Egypt. Hey, woe to you that, that believe in this, man. This place is through. This place is through. You're not going to be able to 30, man. This motherfucker is like 35 trillion dollars. Who pays? Who owes that kind of money, man? You, you, you are horrible at money management. Hey, any, the average person, uh, the average uh, uh, person that owns just a, a simple mom and pop flower shop, a pizza shop. If a motherfucker is that horrible with money, they going to fire who's ever in charge of, of the money, man. You can't be that bad at money with all these. These are supposedly be your smartest people in the world. But that goes off into the scripture. Um, um, the wise men of teaming. Where's that wisdom? Roughly paraphrasing, man. Because you, 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 you so-called white people with your science. You're so goddamn smart. But you seem to be pretty damn stupid on the world stage right now. Anyway, let's go um, into. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this Habakkuk. Two, chapter 2 uh, let's see where I'm going to start at here about, let's start at I can start, let's start from the top Habakkuk 2 and 1 I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved and Yahweh answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So it's going to be real. It's real simple, man. These prophecies are, are becoming real simple and, and, and they're coming to pass real fast, man. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Hey, these things are happening. 
The prophecies in, uh, of the last days are here, man, and happening. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but but he but thee, but the just shall live by faith. And I want to read this in the NLT too. Let's um. Let me start at verse three in the NLT. This vision is for the t for for future time. It describes the end, and it will be fulfilled. It is it if it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, and that's what we're we're, we're waiting for, man. We're patiently waiting. Though we get vexed, man, we, we see a lot of bullshit and we just get, you know, <laughs> pissed. But hey, I had to catch myself, man, you know, and just think like, got to woosa, calm yourself. <laughs> hey, we have to calm down, man, and wait. It says, wait patiently for it will surely take place and it will not be delayed. Look at the proud. And these so-called white people are the proudest people on the fucking planet, man. They trust in themselves. They don't trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They, 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 they only trust in their science and, and what they, their ability and what they can do. And their lives are crooked. You already know they, they crooked as hell, man. But the righteous will live by their faithfulness in Yahweh. And that's what we're doing, man. We're living by the faithfulness in Yahweh. We're waiting on our Lord. This place is doomed, man. This place is, is nothing but stubble, man. This shit is... is, 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 is <laughs> Nothing but charcoal for the barbecue, man. This is it, man. Light of fluid on it and everything. That woo, you know, you, you know, you, you about to barbecue some meat and shit for your Fourth of July, and you got the charcoals all set and it's ready to go. Woo, this place is about to blow, man. Let me see here. Salakia. Verse five. Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, where he he transgresses with his with his philosophies, man. With his science, with his ideologies. Oh, look at, you know, they're, 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 these people are the ones that are, that are telling you that the universe was was came out of nowhere with a big bang theory, you know, billions of years ago. And then told you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans or you Negroes that you descended from some monkeys, man. You descended from some from some apes, some Neanderthals, you know, and this is what they push on the world. They don't believe in the scriptures, man. It says, Jay, also because he transgressed it by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his de desire as hell and is as death <laughs> and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Who does that sound like to you? That's the so-called white man. That's the so-called white race of people. That's, this is what they do. Let me get it in the NLT over here. It says wealth is treacherous. And the arrogant are never at rest. They open their mouths as wide as the grave. And like death, they are never satisfied. In their greed, they have gathered up many nations and swallowed up many people. And that's what they do. They go throughout the earth. They enslave the people. They go to war. They drop bombs. They do all the, all the treachery shit. And then they take over the resources. And then they set up a, pu a puppet for, for a president or whatever, a prime minister or whatever, uh, or whatever, you know. That, that's, this is what this man does. He's been doing this for a long time. But, but his end is, 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 is here, man. This is the point right here. Well, let me see. Uh, verse, uh, verse six. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? And a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeneth himself with thick clay. And that thick clay, it goes off into that damn debt. That thick, that thick clay is that money, that debt, them loans that they, they've been um, um, consuming forever and never intending on paying back. And, and guess, who, guess who's the collateral? You, the American people. You're the collateral on the loan. That's the reason why they're going to they, they, they're coming. Hey, what do, what do you do? What, 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 is, what do banks do when you default on a loan? They come and take your shit. They come and get they garnish. They come and get whatever they can. They'll sell that shit off, auction it off. They, but they want what's theirs. And then if they if it's not enough to pay it off, they'll put you out on the streets. But as soon as you start to work again or if you ever get back on your feet, you best believe they've already numbered you. They've given you a Social Security number where they like up. Oh, he's back online. We're going to garnish everything that he makes. We're going to get our portion until we get everything. How do they do that? Because they've given you a Social Security number, which is your cattle number. 
But what they're trying to do now is they're trying to digitally do that. They're trying to put a digital all in you. They're trying to put a digital um, 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 burn mark in you, so to speak. You know, like how they do the cattle. You know how a ranchman, he'll put his his mark on his on, on his um his cow. So, you know, he can say, oh, that's my property right there. That's mine. So that's what the so-called white man, he's trying to do that to you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. He's going to he's trying to do it to everyone on the planet. But he really wants you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. This is who this man is going after. Let's get this in the NLT over here. Verse six in the NLT. But soon their captors will taunt them. So, hey, it's coming where we're going to taunt them. They will mock them saying, what sorrow awaits you thieves? See, and this is what what's going on when the brothers go out on the highways and byways. This is the prophecy. We're prophesying against this place. We're prophesying against Mount Seir. That's what the Lord told us to do. We have to prophesy against this place, man. It says they will mock them saying, what sorrow awaits you thieves? Now you will get what you deserve. You you become rich by extortion. But how much longer can this go on? See, suddenly your debtors will take action. They will turn on you and take all you have while you stand trembling and helpless. What did I? Hey, that's the same thing that I just uh, <laughs> just said that this is what's going to happen. This is what banks do. And we're talking about a world bank, man, a federal reserve. These are the federal banks, man. The world, the world banks, man, that's, that's owned by the elite. Your Rothschilds and all these other different families, man, that's got their part in it, man. It says, because you have plundered many nations, now all the survivors will plunder you. You committed murder throughout the countryside and filled the towns with violence. What sorrow awaits you who builds big houses with money gained dishonestly? You believe your wealth will become secure will buy security that's why you got all of them they buying up bunkers and shit i'm talking about elaborate bunkers shit's got movie theaters in them two three pools in them you know tennis courts <laughs> you name it man hey they, they they these people have bunkers man that 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 are like cities man okay it says you believe your wealth will buy security putting your family's nest beyond the reach of danger See, and it's not going to work for you so-called white people, man. It says, but by the murders you committed, you have shamed your name and forfeited your lives, man. See, hey, I mean, it is what it is. We don't even have to go any further, man. But this is what's coming to pass. That's why it's so important that you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. This is who we do these lessons for. You have to repent because you are Israelites. When they stole you, they 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 stole the Jew. As a matter of fact, one of their main thieves, one, one of the main thieveries that they've done that's going to really get them fucked up is that they stole the, the inheritance of the Lord, man, the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So, so, hey, repent, man. We're living in these last days. Let me get um this Romans 13 and 11. Me and the brother, we, we bring this out every weekend at the camp. Every Saturday at camp, man, we, we try and bring this, this scripture out. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. See, when you start to see the things that the Lord told us about, they're coming to pass. Now it is high time to awake out of sleep. And this was written 2000 years ago. Now we're, we're in the very last seconds of this thing, man. Hell, they just turned up the underarm on the, on the, on the doomsday clock not that long ago. I think they pushed it up to like 10 seconds to doomsday <laughs> because because nuclear war is on 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 the front. All the things that the, the, the last parts of the prophecies, man, World War Three and the mark of the beauty and the beast. That's the, that's about it. That's all that that's really got to happen, really. Other than a few other little minor things. But the major ones is that. OK, it says. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we when we believed. The night is far spent. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And the only way that you can do that is knowing the true name of the father, which is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. And the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. You have to pray to Yahweh and repent to him in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. 
you know, because that's the true name of the father and son. Not no damn Jesus, not no white guy, no letter J in Hebrew. The letter J was invented 500 years ago in 1524 by a guy named Tresino, I think is his name. And you can Google that. But um, there's no letter J, E, O, U or V in the Hebrew alphabet. And the Lord is not some blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. That's another thing that they stole. You know, went into the scriptures and whitewashed everything. Got people thinking that the Lord is some white guy and he's coming back to save every damn body. Just believe on me, the white man. The Lord is a dark, melanated man with woolly hair, with a deep voice, an austere man, which means that he was rough and rigid, according to Revelations um, 13. No, not Revelation 13, so like um, Revelation 1, verses 13 through 15. It gives you a description of the Lord being a dark, melanated man, not some white guy, man, with stringy ass hair, you know? So you had to repent to the father Yahweh in the name of his son and um, Yahweh Shai in these last days, the true and living father, the true and living God that created the heavens and the earth. Because see, the white man, I'm telling you, the so-called white man, it, he shows you that he doesn't um, believe in the scriptures. This man has absolutely no fear of the Lord when you'll take the scriptures and make it seem as if you're the people of the Bible. And it has absolutely nothing to do with them other than them going into slavery. Their biblical name is Esau Edom. That's their biblical name. He came out red. They're not so-called, they're not white people. That's why we call them so-called white people because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. None of them are actually white, like the color of clouds or the color of snow or color of a glass of milk. They don't look like that. They're actually pinkish to reddish in color. And there's no such thing as black people. They're just different shades of brown people. But those are the social constructs that they gave you as a complete lie to move throughout the earth, man. This, this man is, is the wicked. He is the devil. He's, he, he's the adversary. <laughs> Straight up, man. This man is the adversary. This man is your, your enemy. And you have to realize that, man, that we're in the last days. And, and, and everything that he's built up, the Lord is going to cut down within an hour. These 500, 600 this thousand year reign that he's had, you know what I'm saying? All that shit that he built up and stole for so long is going to be knocked down in one hour, man. So with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kormi Shala.